way to rally white people. And I never thought about our family history having anything to do with Hawaii Island until one year Pamela Young uh, and her wonderful mixed race specials invited me to go on a trip with her to Portugal. And I was really quite stumped because I grew up with my mama's family and therefore the Portuguese side, even though I had the surname, was really not anything I knew very much about. But in uh, thinking about these stories, she said, all you have to do is share a little bit of your family history with us because how many people in our islands are the same way? We have surnames of countries that we know nothing about, you know, cultures that perhaps may have a word or two or a food dish in our family repertoire, but we don't think about that often. And so in thinking about these stories, I, I did some little research and managed to search out some members of the family who were still around and found out, and in the family stories, my grandmother really stood out to me, my Portuguese grandmother. And so I decided that, that would be the storyline that I would look for. They took me to mainland Portugal. We were there for the anniversary of the miracle of Fatima. And even if you are not Catholic, when you're in an area where there's over a million people believing that devoutly, one has to recognize that something special is going on. Um, we got to go to the Azor Islands, where my grandfather was born. They said, there's one sea on a small plane that will take you to this island, Gracio, so that's where your grandfather was born. We want you to go, we want you to come back tomorrow and tell us the story. I was like, you ain't sending me someplace. I don't even speak the language, I will be by myself. I don't think so. And then finally we ended up at Madeira, where my grandmother was born. Um, but on the shores of San Miguel Island, in the Azor Islands, I also had a chance to visit uh, a little museum they have there. And in it, they have all of the stories and the registers. Registers? Registrations, one of those words, it's in there somewhere, of all the ships that left bringing the Portuguese immigrants across the ocean. And so there on the shores of San Miguel Island, in Ponta del Gado, I was up early in the morning watching the sun, took out the little picture I had of my grandmother that I carried with me, and this song came into me. For the first time, I am looking. 
City of Paris arrived in Cuba in 1883. My grandmother was still a little girl when she came from Hawaii. She grew up there in Cuba, and even though she was a person of Portuguese ancestry, she was a Cuba girl. The freighters are still there on the island of Hawaii. But as she came to adulthood, she met a man who had come from the Azor Islands. Together they married and worked the plantations from the island of Hawaii to the island of Maui to the island of Oahu, where my father was born, finally ending up their days on the island of Kauai on the west side, at a plantation called Makaweli. They were like so many other people whose situations in their corner of the globe made them turn to this little tiny place in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And when you think about the great sacrifice and the strength of character to to get into ships and go around the horn to come to Hawaii. Not to speculate on real estate, not to change Hawaii, but to call it their home, to add their blood, sweat, and tears to the land, creating families, creating the beautiful rainbow that we see when we look at our own families. Because we have one of each in our family, one of every color, my grandmother uh, ended her days there at Mokoele Plantation as a midwife, helping to bring into the world many children of different ethnicities. But the one thing they had in common was that they would all become part of Hawaii's future, loving the land that is theirs. I remember you before the first time. I am looking at She was my grandmother. 